Hi, I have in front of me here the MAG 254 IPTV set-top box. Basically, this is a Linux-based box, and the purpose of it is specifically for allowing uh, IPTV, sort of internet TV, to be streamed directly to your TV. So, we've gone with the MAG simply because it's a pretty high-spec box, it's popular in the marketplace, and both in terms of the software and the hardware design on it, very, very good. Um, in terms of uh, where it's going and things like that, we've seen a huge increase in the popularity of Linux-based boxes um, and also we'll say um, Android devices, things like that. Uh, I suppose the disadvantages uh, compared to an Android is it's not easy to add apps directly onto things like that because it's running with a Linux operating system. Um, but in terms of straightforward streaming, which a lot of people want to do, that, that is this particular box is perfect for it. Okay, so we're seeing a lot of use in it, both we'll say domestically, but also in the commercial thing, hotels, things like that, would have traditionally sent around the head end channels of say 20 channels over coaxial, are now increasingly doing it over Cat5 as an IP signal. So um, what I'm going to do here in terms of the format, I'm just going to go through the overall um, uh, what comes in the box. We'll go into a little detail of the box itself, and then I'll give a demonstration of it, just push channel and give people the expectation of how quickly it can load the channel and how effectively it works here. So um, the first thing I suppose to do is come along. This is the outer box that comes in, so it's a really switched little unit. Uh, we have a user manual here, which is in English. We have a power unit, 12 volt, 1 amp. And also we have, uh, for older TVs, we can use this 3.5 millimeter to RCA converter cable, connect it onto the back and output it to a TV. Um, we have the user manual here as well, which is uh, our the remote control, which comes with a set of AAA batteries. And it's a nice remote, both in terms of range and uh, size, etc. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, just mention here, you can see the box, it's a very neat little unit, and in proportion to the size of my hand, very, very small, you know. So um, you have a USB port on the front, and if I just rotate the unit around, what I'll do now is I'll just come around to the front of the box, and I'll just mention the fact, we'll say, there's a second USB port on the back. Now, it's not Wi-Fi enabled, but we could, we'll say, add a Wi-Fi dongle on here. There's associated ones we sell that are perfect for the mag box. So, in that case, you wouldn't need to use the LAN cable input, but um, in this demonstration, we will. And what we have here is an SPDIF um, a digital optical output. And uh, what, what we have then is um, a HDMI output and also an AV um, output here where we can convert it over to the RCA. And then we have the LAN cable input as well. Uh, what we finally have here is the power unit in input here, so we just power it directly as a 12 volt unit. Now what I have over here is I've just the general menu set up. So we'll have um, TV settings, obviously what most people use. But there's things settings on it like a video club, you can go into YouTube, you can set up radio stations and listen to it through the box as well. We have settings here as well, just the general setup in terms of the output for the screen, etc. like that. Uh, and uh, the internet, um, so you can go on and use Google things like that, go browsing. Uh, media browser here and just back to the main event which of course would be the TV here. If I actually come along here and hit the TV button I think we've actually set it up here on one of the Irish channels. So what we basically have here is just an Irish channel and we can stream directly onto that okay. So um, that's basically uh, an overview of it. Let's just bring it back out. So overall I would say it's just a really neat box. Um, by going with something like the MAG 254 you're really future proofing your investment because it's higher spec would say than the others within the range and it's just really really popular uh, in terms of reliability it's fantastic in terms of the ease of use in terms of setting it up on whatever particular service you want to go with and uh, it just really really makes your life a dream so um so that's it anyway an overview of the mag 254 iptv setup box